Alright guys, let's do this problem that reads The bar AB is supported by two smooth colors at A. The connection is with a ball and socket joint at B. It is a rigid attachment. If a 50 pound load is applied to the bar, determine the X, Y and C components of reaction at A, B, A and B. Okay, so first of all, let's draw the free body diagram. Okay, let's draw all the forces that are acting upon the system. So let's start with A. So we know that we have AC and AX. There's no AY because it would just slide, right? Then we have BX and BC. The reason why you have a BX, like, don't be deceived. The, the, the assembly would move from C to D, but it, move, it wouldn't move along the C axis because this pipe right here is not perfectly in the C axis. So that's why there is an X and a C. That might be a little deceiving, so don't let it fool you. And there's also one going up. Now, there's also moments here. In other words, this is resisting, it's resisting the assembly from, from turning, which is a moment about PC. I always assume that looking from the positive axis counterclockwise is positive um that's just uh, my convention so we have a py moment of a py and then the same thing a moment about bx am i missing something no i think we're good okay perfect so now that we have the free body diagram and all the forces that are acting along the system, we're trying to find all of the reactions and moment reactions at A and B. So let's actually write down what we're trying to find. So we're trying to find AX, there is no AY, and AC, right? This is a C, I swear. BX, BY, and BC, there's reactions along all three of them. And then the moments, moment around B for X, the moment around B for Y, and the moment around B for C. So we're trying to find all of these. I'm trying to be organized here. So that is three, six, eight variables. Okay, perfect. So let's start. The first thing I always tell you guys to do is find the moments about the X, the Y, and the C, and see how much we can figure it out from there. So some of the forces I am going to say forces. Some of the forces around the x is equal to zero, and we got ax plus bx, and that's it. That's equation one. Cool. So when we find the ax, we're going to find bx thanks to that equation. Some of the forces around the y is equal to zero, and it's equal to by plus 50 pounds. And that means that by is equal to negative 50 pounds. That's awesome. Equation, well, I'm not going to call it equation 2, I'm just going to put by is equal to negative 50 pounds. Awesome. Last one is uh, some of the forces in the C is equal to 0 and is equal to AC plus BC. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's equation 2. And that's awesome too because when you find AC, you're going to find BC now, thanks to this equation. So now let's do some of the moments. So. Some of the moments about the X and when you're doing the moments, um, try not to do them from the actual origin because the actual origin is right here. Remember when you have this problem, son, you can move the origin to make it somewhat more comfortable to actually look at this whole system. So I'm going to pretend I have another origin here. Let's call this C, uh, C prime, I think you call that. This is Y prime and this is x prime so i just moved the origin to make this problem easier to easier to visualize and i'm going to say that some of the moments about x prime is equal to minus by times 6 plus uh, mbx is equal to zero so if i was looking from the positive x from the top and i'm assuming counterclockwise is positive that's pretty much what the function comes out to be so let me write this as mbx is equal to 
300 foot pounds. Why? Because we know by, we just found that it's negative 50. Well, I mean, it's just 50, it's the magnitude of by here. So, here we go. Put 300 pounds, foot pounds, sorry. There we go. So, some of the moments about the y is equal to zero, and it is equal to bx, uh, this is positive, right? Times 6 plus mby plus bc times 5. That means that 0 is equal to 6bx plus 5bc plus mby. Calling this equation 3. Then some of the moments about the c prime is equal to 0 and it is equal to minus 50 times 5 minus py times 5 plus mbc. That means a 0 is equal to 250 plus 250 uh, sorry minus 250 plus 250 plus mbc. So that means that mbc is equal to 0. Awesome, we have three down, five to go. Here where it gets a little tricky and, and a lot of, uh, I found a lot of my students get stuck. So basically we need to find another equation or another set of equations or something that gives me a little more in order to find the rest of the variables. And in order to do that, we're gonna do a little trick called uh, the force along a certain, um, a certain rod. So we got point C and point D. And the force along an axis that will go from C to D, let me write it down, force along CD is equal to the force of B times a univector, that, uh, the dot product between the force at B, so the force acting at this point, times the univector that goes from C to D. So the dot product between that force and what it will go from C to D. So before, before we do that, let's find the univector that goes from C to D, which first we need to find CD, which is minus 9 in the I plus 3 in the J plus 0 in the K then the univector, uh, univector that goes from C to D would be CD over the magnitude of CD, which is equal to minus nine in the I plus three in the J plus zero in the K, divided by nine square plus three square plus zero square, all square rooted, which is the square root of 90, which comes out to be minus 0 0.94868 in the I, the i plus 0.31623 in the j. Perfect. We know that the forces at b is equal to bx in the i plus by in the j plus bc in the k. Or, since we know a little bit, bx in the i minus 50 in the j plus bc in the k. So, like I said, the force along uh, CD is equal to the dot product between the forces at B times that univector, which would be times UCD, which would be BX in the I minus 50 in the J plus BC in the K dot minus 0.94868 in the I plus 0 0.31623 in the J. So if you solve the start product, and remember how to solve the dot product, you multiply the I's with the I's, the J's with the J's, and the K's with the K, but there's no K. So you get that zero is equal to, oh, and this is equal to zero. Why is it equal to zero? Because if you have a force, it wouldn't slide because this is statics, this is the, the whole system is static and, and there is no resistance from, from this because of how 
it is connected it would just slide if if it wasn't static so if, if it would be moving right so 0 is equal to minus 0.94868 px minus 50 times 0.31623 so now we can solve for bx which you get that is minus 16.667 and since we have bx we can plug this into equation 1 and we get that ax is equal to 16.667 so let's write that down back in the first page we got bx trying to find it yes minus 16.667 and ax is 16.667 so now all we have to find is the moment um, BY, BC, and AC, right? Let's set a new page for that. So, moment about B times a univector CD is also equal to zero, right? And then the moment about b times the univector cd is equal to mbx in the i plus mby in the j plus mbc in the k that minus 0.94868 in the i plus 0.3162 in the j now what I'm trying to say is pretty much the same thing. Just like this thing would slide back and forth, therefore there's no resistance. So in statics it will be equal to zero because it's not moving. There is no resistance about turning about CD. And that's how we can arrive to this equation being equal to zero. So when we do this dot product, we get that zero is equal to 300 minus negative point nine four eight six eight plus mby times point three one six two three so you can solve for mby and you get that it is equal to nine hundred foot pounds you can plug this into equation three and you get the zero is equal to six times minus sixteen point six six seven. We got we got from equation three. We got um. Remember we already found the um, bx and ax. So that's how we can uh, reach this. Uh, fill this up also. Plus five bc plus nine hundred. So for bc you get that is minus one sixty pounds. Plug this into equation two. And you get that AC is equal to 160 pounds. So let's go back to our first page. Oops. Here. And we get MBY is equal to 900 uh, pounds per foot or foot pounds. Um, BC is minus 160 and AC is 160 pounds. Pounds here two, pounds here two. Don't forget your units. So, final answer for AX and AC, final answer for BX, BY, and BC, and final answer for the moments about X, about Y, and about C. If you made it this far, please make sure you go to finalanswer.com. There you're gonna find all the videos I've been working on and six ways to support this channel. And make sure you check my merch store by going to store.finalanswer.com.